Guys, plain and simple, this is how I would learn data structures and algorithms entirely for free. So firstly, if you don't know how to code already, you should do that. I would recommend Python or JavaScript. JavaScript, if you think you might be a web developer, Python, if you think you might be into data science. If you really want to understand everything at every possible level, then you should do it in C and C++, but that is more difficult. If you're looking to learn Python, then I would highly recommend starting with this video that I'll link in the description. It's about three hours long and covers all that you would need to know. If you want to learn JavaScript or C and C++, I'll link in the description my recommendation for learning those. After you've learned how to code, I would definitely recommend going to Coursera and taking the University of California, San Diego's Data Structures and Algorithms Specialization. The stuff on Coursera is paid for if you want the certificate and the assessments. However, if you're just looking to learn the material, which is all you're really going to need to do, then you can enroll for free. You might not want to do that unless you want to pay for it. You would actually go into the courses, you'd pick a particular course, go here, and then in that course, you'd click on that. And then in the top right, if you want to, it's going to say upgrade to the specialization, but you immediately have access to the content right here. If I click this, the video is going to start right away. So let's walk through the courses. We've got algorithmic toolbox. That's your kind of generic computer science discussion about this. It gets into some pretty tricky things, but I promise you, you'll get through it if you force yourself to. This is one of the best resources you can get for it and for it being free. It is really fantastic. Data structures. Well, this is algorithms. So data structures make sense. Very similar to algorithms. You can kind of group them as the same thing. However, as you can see here, it is very particularly focusing on graphs. Then we've got algorithms to be performed on those graphs. We've got algorithms on strings. So basically these two courses here, as you can see, 55 hours. That's because these are very, very common types of questions to be asked in Google lead code style interviews. We've got advanced algorithms and complexity to finish things off. And to actually finish things off, you can do a programming challenge, although that's not necessarily required. So as you can see, this is not gonna be a super quick process. This has 39 hours in the first course, 24, 55, 18, 27, and 17. That's well, well over 100 hours of time here. It is a complex thing to learn. It's a big beast to capture. But once you go through that and you learn all this stuff, you might not be a master at it yet, likely overwhelmed. But the purpose here is not to super, super memorize every single detail in here. It's to learn what you need to know so that you can practice it in the next step. It may not surprise you, but you have to do this step. Please don't ignore it. It is the right thing to do. Go to Lead Code and just sort their problems by easy. Make sure that you you can get a confidence boost and solve these problems and understand how the platform works, understand what they're saying of the space and time complexity and how you're doing it properly. They will penalize you if you are doing things too slow. That's why this platform is extremely, extremely good for preparing for these styles of interviews. Please also don't just get caught on only doing the easies. It's likely that in a Google style interview, you're going to get a medium to hard level. So somewhere a little harder than the average medium is most likely you may get an easy if you're lucky you may get a hard if they feel like challenging you now just because I'm saying lead code here doesn't mean the step is simply go to lead code and start coding it is a very particular process and you know the right thing that you have to do but it is very tempting to do the wrong thing make sure that when you say click on a problem you read it you try your absolute butt off to solve it in the programming language of your choice when you get stuck you read the solution and you really really understand a couple of the best solutions that they've got, or at least one of them, then you go back, you try and solve it yourself, knowing this new technique, not just by copying the code and putting it in there, understand the techniques that they did, understand the solution that they gave, why it has the space and time complexity that it has, make sure you can write it by yourself afterwards, rinse and repeat, and make sure to do the same problems multiple times, just because you did something one day, doesn't mean you can never do it again, because you're trying to get all the check marks, make sure that as you go through, you're actually learning learning the things and not just getting check marks on the platform. This last step is absolutely critical and it's a big reason a lot of you are not going to get the job even though you are very skilled at this. Being a competitive programmer here is not enough. You are going to need to be confident and to explain and solve the problems under pressure. And so you need to simulate that environment. If you just go and solve 500 problems on your, by yourself, you are not going to have the same results when you get someone from Google that you know, you've been waiting three months to get a call from, and this is your one shot. And if you blow it, then it's, it's gone and you might have to wait a year until you hear from them again. That's going to be a stressful situation. And so you need to try your best to 
simulate that environment by getting a friend, making them really stress you out while you're coding, explain this stuff to them, explain the space and time complexity of your solution. Don't just cheat on it, actually do it right. And you will get much better results if you do that a bunch of times before your interview and during the process as well. I hope this video was helpful, guys. All the links are in the description below and have a great day. I wish you the best of luck.